Hello, I'm Luke Darcy and welcome to the 2013 wash-up for the Adelaide Crows. Prelim finalists last year missed the top eight this year. Damo, did they overachieve last season or are they better than what they produced in 2013? Yeah, Darcy, to me, you don't overachieve uh, in a particular season when you lose a preliminary final by a kick. But to answer that second part of that question, they were massive underperformers in 2013. Massive. A couple of highlights for me, Damo, came uh, in the space of big comfort behind wins in round nine versus uh, North Melbourne. Yep. Five goals down in the last quarter. Uh, cost North Melbourne a final spot, that particular play there, if you look at it from that point of view. But it was a great effort from the Adelaide Crows and some glimpses of uh, the talent that we know they've got. Some excitement there, wasn't it, in the box for Brenton Sanderson? That's what that win does. And this one, you're also going to highlight the Geelong win, uh, two point win. They, they, there is spirit there, isn't there? They, they, against the odds, they can produce magnificent results. Yep, I think there's talent as well. And we'll talk about the reasons why the year went the way it did. But that was five goals down in round 17 and yep. came over the top of Geelong. So they were a couple of big wins. Yeah, my uh, highlight for the year was Rory Sloan Dars. I know Patrick Dangerfield was, was celebrated and rightly so, but I, I just loved the way he went about it. And loved the way he went about it when things weren't actually going all that well for his team. He can do pretty much anything, can't he? He, he could be flashy if he wants to be, but he's actually even more prepared to do that sort of stuff and the tackling and then taking a key mark, as he did on that occasion, and did regularly. He's just a... To me, he's the all-round footballer, um, and I, I love him. I think every single supporter of football would love to have him on their, their team. Cold hero status, uh, Rory Sloan. I'm yeah. with you. Uh, every player on that list loves playing with Rory Sloan. Low light for me. And look away now if uh, you're like me and you don't like seeing this, but Taylor Walker's serious knee injury... In round five, uh, Damo was uh, you almost... Can't look at that, can you? Just, you just I can't. Cannot, I just no. can't go back to that. Almost that was season over for me for, uh, for the Adelaide Crows. Uh, he was going to be, uh, on the back of last year, the biggest thing in Adelaide. And unfortunately, that uh, cost him big time. Just hope he can come back, don't we? Um, to me, Das, uh, Brenton Sanderson, great first year as coach. Um, just struggled during the year in 2013. Round 18, just did something no man should ever do. We <laughs> took on Ross Lyon off-field. Let's watch how that played out. Yeah, so I was just, I was just telling Sloaney, you know, we won every major indicator, but the most important one, I guess, which is uh, winning the game of footy. You know, we won contested ball, we won inside 50s, we won tackles, we won clearances. We just couldn't convert. Oh, did he? Oh, OK. I thought we counterpunched them really well. Both teams had a number back all night, so it was ever who used the ball best and were able to find targets inside 50. So it was 14 marks to seven. Um, we had more kicks in them, more marks inside 50, um, more shots on goal. So I think it's a pretty simple equation. Yeah, you can't win that fight, Dars. Uh, Ross Lyon is the boss off-field as well as on. Head-to-head stats-wise, Ross is uh, just about better than anyone else. Uh, Christmas bonus time, Damo, and I would like to reward Paddy Dangerfield for another outstanding year. You speak about complete players. How many can run uh, kick-left foot bombs from outside yeah. 50 on the run? It's a freakish talent. Uh, plays the game the right way. We do the tackles and the hard stuff uh, when it's required. Such a powerful mover and can turn the game on his own boot, Dame. I thought he was just sensational again this year. Yeah, and, and put, has now put together two outstanding seasons of, of footy, hasn't he? Up until maybe early last year, the thought was he wasn't do, getting enough of the ball, but Christ, that's not an issue now. Christmas bonus time for you, Damo. Yeah, Brad Crouch, Dar, so I just love this guy, the way he goes about it. Uh, Yago Amir has stolen just about all the publicity when it comes to uh, you know young guns emerging mm. in, in a very big way. If Jaeger Amira wasn't around us, we'd be talking about him in the same tones, I believe, as, as Amira. I reckon over the journey, he's going to be an equal to Amira. And I know the Crows, even now, if Amira and Crouch were up against the wall in that old-fashioned school selection policy, they'd be happy with taking the man they've already got, Crouch. Missed two months with a hamstring at the start of the year. Crouch came in, played 13 games for the season and was absolutely extraordinary. Mm. Averaged about 24 possessions. And I'm with you, he's an absolute gun. Uh, keep your eye on Brad Carrot. Shopping block time, Damo. Yeah, go for And uh, we don't like doing this, but uh, I think Richard Tamling's time is up. Uh, he was a pick four back in 2004 in that uh, famous draft where pick five was uh, Buddy Franklin. Hasn't quite worked out for Richard Tamling. He's probably just missed the boat and he won't be there next year. Yeah. To me, Darcy, it's uh, Sean McKernan. Um, when the club loses Kurt Tippett off-season last year and then loses Walker in-season this year, it was crying out for a big man to stand up and, and assume some responsibility that hadn't come his way to that point. Well, he managed only nine games and, and was quite ineffectual. Um, in those nine games and I think he needs to have a look at uh, moving on to see if there is another club that, that will allow him to play his trade because it hasn't worked for him at the Crows. It's a bit early for me on a young big man. Takes really? a bit longer. I think there's uh, yeah. enough signs there. 
I think he's only about 22. Give him a couple more years, Damon. I think he'll turn into a good player. Where can they improve next year? I think the ruck stocks is an issue for them. Yep. Uh, big source Jacobs, uh, Sam Jacobs, didn't quite have the year that he had last year. He needs some support. Angus Graham they got across from Richmond. That hasn't worked out at all for them. Uh, the last couple of years, Marich has gone to Richmond, who was uh, probably in the hindsight of play. They should have kept Jonathan Griffin to Fremantle. It's probably a better option. Kurt Tibbet's gone as well, so they need some help in the ruck department. To me, Darcy, they need some uh, help in the in the midfield. Um, we know Dangerfield and Sloan are there. We just mentioned Crouch, but Scotty Thompson dropped away. He's been a very good player at two footy clubs now for a long time, but I think his best is now clearly behind him. To me, they need to replace his input at that footy club with someone from outside. And we know it's going to be hard because they can't uh, partake in the first two rounds of this particular draft. So they're going to have to bring people in from outside their system. So, Damo, let's look forward to 2014. Where did the Crows finish? Up, down or stay the same? They're going to go up, Das, but they have to. And it's wrong how low they were finishing this year. I'm not sure they're prelim finals as they were in 2012, but they'll be back in the finals in 2014. Yeah, I think on the back of Tex Walker alone, I know it's always an unknown about a knee injury, but even you know if he gets back to 70% next year, he'll be better the year after. They need that extra target uh, forward. I think they'll improve uh, next year, Damo, and move up the ladder. Thank you, Damo. That's the wash-up for the Adelaide Crows in 2013. 2013.